A few months ago, AMD released fourth Ryzen Ryzen called Ryzen 4000 Renault R for mobile devices. I was pretty hyped and I decided to try out Asus new Sephiroth G14 for you guys, a 14-inch gaming laptop with AMD's fourth Ryzen 4800 HS processor, fast enough to run eSport-like games without the need of a dedicated graphics card. In other words, a Vega iGPU included alongside the processor, like Intel's HD graphics if you like, but powerful enough to run many less demanding games with pretty good results. Honestly, I don't know why I'm so hyped around these APUs, let me know if you are as well anyway. In case you're interested and see my full experience with the Sephiroth G14, you can find that video linked up down below. Anyway, why am I even telling you this? Well, the point is AMD is now taking these CPUs from mobile to desktop and this will be the first processors in the Ryzen 4000 family making its way to desktop. We're essentially looking at 8 6 and 4 core models with integrated graphics and as it turns out, 3 of these upcoming 4th gen APUs have now been tested in Firestrike and in today's video we're gonna look at pretty much everything you need to know about these new processors actually coming out very soon. Hey what is up guys, welcome to Arbin Hardware, my name is Robin, I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. Now here's something to have in mind guys, these APUs we're gonna take a look at today are mobile ships that are combined binding the SAN2 architecture with integrated graphics from the Vega architecture, unlike Forthy and Ryzen for desktop who is taking the jump to SAN3. I know it is a little bit confusing but that's simply how it looks right now. But yeah, simply put, most of the Forthy and Ryzen will be gifted with the new SAN3 processor architecture and redefined manufacturing on 7 nanometer technology, but the graphics based models will utilize processor parts sourced from the year old Ryzen 3. Thousand. With that said, last couple of weeks have been quite intense, with new information and leaks where the upcoming 8 core Ryzen 7 4700G was spotted, which a video card was fast to report. Tom Episac is now presenting performance figures for two pro based Ryzen models tested in 3D Mark, and this includes an 8 core Ryzen 7 4700G with 8 graphics CUs and a 6 core Ryzen 5 4400G with 7 uh, graphics computers. Units. Uh, here's a disclaimer guys, there are a few differences between the Ryzen Pro lineup and the non-Pro lineup worth having in mind. In addition to security differences between the two, previous Ryzen Pro models have also been clocked a bit lower than stand against consumer oriented counterparts, so as we look at the benchmarks, we, we should expect to see better performance coming from the non-Pro models. Alright, so let's start with the 8 core 16 thread part, the Ryzen 7 4700G, this one reached a physical score of 23,392 points and this is similar to what a Ryzen 7 3700X scores which uh, typically reaches around 24k points. The graphics section with 8 compute units running up to 2.1 gigahertz scored a total of 4,301 points and according to all the leaks we believe that this processor will have a 3.6 gigahertz base clock and a 4.4 gigahertz turbo and as for the 6 core 12 thread 4400G with 7 graphics compute units, we can see that this one scored 19,113 in the physics test and 4,023 points in the graphics test. And if we compare the score from the Ryzen 5 4400G, we can see that this model is almost on par with an 8 core in the Ryzen 7 2700X while blazing past the Ryzen 5 3600. The graphics score is much better than the Ryzen 7 4800H and this is due to the higher core clock speed of 1900 megahertz on the desktop part versus 1600 megahertz on the laptop. Now the Ryzen 7 4800H scores around 3500 points in the graphics benchmark. Now apart from the 6 cores and 12 threads, the 4400G is said to have a 3.7 base clock and 4.3 boost clock, where the graphics part stays at 1.9 gigahertz. Ultimately given the 4700G about 6 to 7% performance advantage in the graphics department. Finally guys, we also find a Ryzen 3 4200G discovered by Rogue Game on Twitter and this has also been benchmarked for its scores 6825 points in the physics and 3489 points in the graphics benchmark. Now, this is rumored to be a SAN2 based 4 core and 8 threaded part with a base clock of 3.8 and a boost speed of 4.1 cooped up with 6 Vega graphics uh, compute units. Now, 
looking at the graphics scores, it performs similar to a MX250 GPU from Nvidia. As for the CPU score on the 4200G, it performs worse than against the Ryzen 3 3300X, which scores around 10,000 points, but it's still more powerful than a 30 and Ryzen 3 3100. Now it is unclear as I'm making this video when Sentu based Ryzen 4000 series makes his debut, but according to WCCF Tech, we could see these APUs as soon as July, which could be around the same time frame as AMD expects to drop Ryzen 3000 Refresh or Ryzen XT, and these are set to debut on July 7th. Now what do you think about 40 and Ryzen mobile APUs for desktop? Currently, I gotta be honest here, honestly I am a bit disappointed. I really hope AMD makes up their mind and essentially drop a 4900G with 16 graphics units or even 20 CUs. That would actually make it quite powerful, maybe even powerful enough to run AAA games with pretty good results. Anyway guys, these APUs can be excellent choices to anyone that wanna build a, you know, budget, super cheap gaming PC and I'm, maybe there is a chance I'm gonna make a PC build based on these APUs depending on your guys' response. But it obviously comes down to whether you guys wanna see that or not. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about these new APUs coming out very soon. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.